Clear labeling of inputs, outputs, and buses in Pro Tools is extremely important if you like organization as I do. If we navigate to the Setup I.O. menu, we're shown all of the inputs, outputs, and buses available to us in Pro Tools, as long as inserts, mic preamps, and hardware insert delay. Those are a little bit more advanced features. But if we go back to the Input tab, I can change the label of this input to Kick In. I can change this one to Kick Out. I can also switch over to my main outputs and change the labels here. So if I wanted to call my out one, two, main, I could do that. And our buses, we can also change and label as needed. I have lots of buses created beforehand in my template so I can quickly route audio to different channels and auxes as I need them. Most importantly, I have my main output mapped to my physical main output here on my audio interface. Very important to monitor audio. And now if I head back to my mix window and I wanted to record my kick in mic on my kick in channel, I select my kick in microphone that I just labeled, my kick sub, I will select kick out, and so on and so forth. And there you have it. Quick tip on labeling inputs, outputs, and buses in Pro Tools. Give us a quick like and a follow for more SessionWire short videos. We'll see you in the next one.